one year, one year, if you could ask yourself in one year, where would you be? What would you think that's going to be, you know, changes? What are your goals? And uh, just sort of ask yourself in one year, am I going to achieve the goals that I have? Am I going to be driven enough to achieve everything to stay focused and grind, grind, grind? The answer to that for me is going to be in this video. So good morning, guys and girls, and welcome, guys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I am Senna Steve. I'm in a pretty good mood lately. Um, today, we're just going to run down through, and uh, I'll just start off by saying I'm on 110% not where I want to be. Am I way ahead of where I was last year? Absolutely. But I thought I was going to do things a little bit different. I thought the garage floors would have been painted by now. I thought I would have had some uh, some different walls hung. But it is what it is. Part of being an adult and part of uh, doing what I do is realizing that things change. Things come up. And it isn't necessarily a bad thing that I don't have that stuff done. It's just I thought that in one year I would have a little bit nicer of a garage floor. I thought I would have a ceiling. I do have a, a little bit of a banner here as you can tell. Um, that hangs up and it actually keeps a lot of the heat up instead of coming back down um, But I, there's just little things that I thought I was going to be able to achieve and I just haven't done it yet So with all that being said, let's just run out here and we'll run through the vehicle list for you guys Because I know you guys have some questions I know you guys wonder what vehicles I still have what vehicles I don't still have and uh, you know There's not not many times that I can message everybody back. So we'll start with the Subaru um, I'll post a picture of it right now The Subaru I went ahead and sold, and uh, the only reason I really sold that was to get a welder and to get some shop equipment that I have now in the shop that just kind of puts me in a better uh, situation to be able to do things like I'm about to show you here, and that is my lifted Corvette. So one of the builds that I've done is my lifted Corvette runs and drives. I don't have any real issues with it. Um, I broke some suspension components in the front, but they're fixed now. I just haven't made the video or released the video to you guys because I've been busy with a million different things. But the lifted Corvette, um, I don't think I'm going to sell it. It's probably just kind of a cool novelty to have. Um, if somebody offered me somewhere around 10 grand, I'd probably sell it. But for right now, I just kind of let it sit around. And uh, it was more of a uh, uh, dedication and a focus because a lot of people said that I abandoned a lot of projects and I abandoned this one and I brought it back and I finished it. So this one's here to stay. Obviously, it's road legal and ready to rock, ready to roll, but it is what it is. We're going to lead over here to the 61. If you guys haven't seen this video, obviously it is out there. It is my 1961 four-door Impala. Um, super rare car, actually. Once I've owned it, I realized how rare this thing really is. Um, a lot of times, like you won't see it with the window that actually comes out and sticks over the top. Plus this pillar here, uh, when you look on Impalas, is arched. You don't usually see arched ones. But I'm going to make a video about this one. This one's going to be probably a very, very long and lengthy process. So I'm trying to get some of the other things that I bought. Uh, done and that's why I bought the Dodge Dart that you'll see um, in a little bit here because the Dodge Dart I'll be able to knock out and uh, in a timely fashion leading over here to the four-door or the two-door Jeep uh, This was a Jeep that we played around in um, obviously it aired in a bunch of videos I still own it. I still have a lift kit and everything uh, wheels tires a bunch of things that I'm going to do to it I just haven't had time. I've been busy trying to do other things and other things have popped up like the 61 back here and again, I just haven't had full out time to focus on this vehicle but i'm going to i promise you that vehicle will actually be done in the next two weeks and i'll uh, just stay tuned for the videos coming up on this it's actually on the schedule for wednesday of this week to come in and get the lift wheels and tires so stay tuned for that probably in two weeks to get the video released coming to the limo <laughs> probably one of my coolest builds probably one of my coolest projects but i sort of actually kind of hit a place in my life that i don't really need it and as fun as it would be to drive it on vacation and do everything with it, um, I think it'd be cooler to invest the money back into my shop. This is sort of another reason why um, some of my things inside didn't get done because I actually spent the money on this. And again, I don't have any loans. So everything that you're going to see today, I don't have any loans on. I own everything 100%. So it's kind of just sort of, you know, how I do things. And it's my way to do it. It's not right way. It's no wrong way. It's just how I choose to operate my business. So I got a lot of money sitting here wrapped up in this vehicle. It just kind of does do a lot of sitting, unfortunately. Then for a while, I took it home and we did it on the weekends and drove it and everything. Um, but I really haven't done anything with it 
um, probably in a month. And that's kind of why I want to sell it. I um, hope it's locked. I don't even have the key with me. Otherwise, I'd show you the interior, but it is actually a nice thing. Uh, check on Marketplace. It's locked up. I don't have the key with me. Um, it's actually at the house. So check it on Marketplace. If somebody's interested, $20,000, I would sell it. Um, clean title, runs, drives, absolutely perfect. Um, under here, the bumpers are flawless. They're just wrapped. Is what it is. Has all lighting trends underneath, yada, yada, yada. You guys know the drill in the limo. Now, actually, we'll start back here. This is a Jeep that I just picked up today. Uh, Mo and I ran about a half hour away up the road, bought it, and uh, we're just going to do a flip with it or part it out because that's actually where I make a lot of my money to fund the vehicles and the projects that you see today um, or that you're going to see me building um, is from part outs and things like this that you guys don't typically see behind doors um, or behind the camera. This is like what keeps me going and where I make my actual money. Like I bought this thing cheap. I'll probably make $1,000 all said and done, parting it out, taking everything off, selling it, and going there. Um, the car trailer, huge, huge, huge game changer in my life. Now, to you guys, you probably don't understand what a trailer, um, or to you guys, it's just a car trailer. It's not anything cool. It's not anything special. I'm not sorry if I covered the mic. But to me, this thing has saved me in so many instances so many uh places it's made me videos that have done very well it's made me videos that have done poorly it obviously picks up these vehicles so this car trailer was a huge game changer for me and uh it's a 2020 appalachian it looks a little rough because i used the heck out of it and it was a, a construction trailer when i got it but a 2020 appalachian uh 24 foot plus three feet in the front plus i have a storage bin up front so it's a 27 foot appalachian 2020 trailer absolutely love it wouldn't go any anywhere without it leading up here to the denali the denali has been an absolute staple in my life it has done so many things from family to work to family to family to back to work to work to work to work back to the family this thing has been absolutely hands down it was roughed it when i got it um don't get me wrong i fought through a lot of issues with it um timing related issues i've had a bunch of issues with the thing but now that i've got it all dialed in it absolutely does the work amazing and i should have made the videos on fixing that thing all up and doing everything low oil pressure blah 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 bunch of issues but i didn't i wanted it as basically my work vehicle and family vehicle so we've got it and it uh it's not going anywhere anytime soon i don't think unless somebody wants to bring me 15 grand cash then you can take it don't tell my girl i said that all right heading into the shop here the dodge dart this is going to be a project that obviously we are going to kick off very soon um it might not look like much to you guys but this is actually so one of my neighbors had a dodge dart back in the day i always liked it i always wanted one when i seen this one come up um i well actually correction i'll start back from the beginning i bought the 61 and i was ready to tear into it uh but the problem is, is it's rough and when i release that video you guys will see that it is rough but because I am who I am right now and I want to stay focused on a project, I'm not going to give up on it. I'm not going to throw it away. We are going to do that. So I went ahead and bought the Dodge Dart so I can do filler content while I do some of the other things with this. Um, again, this is actually only a two owner vehicle, uh, 1973 Dodge Dart. Go check out the recovery vehicle and we'll have more coming up on it uh, very soon. It's actually not that rusty at all. It's actually in really, really good shape and uh, we'll run through it in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. This Dodge is actually a friend of mine's brother. Um, so I got to do brake lines on it. Uh, manifold bolts broke. The manifold is actually warped and cracked. Um, that car over there is actually Mud Junkie 99s. Don't want to talk about it because it's his. Um, this is my cat eye or catfish, whatever you want to say. Uh, I would call it a cat eye. Yeah, it's a Duramax. No, this is my catfish uh, Camaro SS. You'll see what I plan on doing with this. I don't even know if I aired this thing yet. You guys probably don't even know that I have it, except for if you follow me on Instagram. But follow me on Instagram, send it underscore Steve. There's my plug now. You can see a lot more content. You'll see what we're going to do with this. I don't want to release too much on it because, again, I haven't even made a video about me owning this vehicle yet, but it is here. Uh, the Karen Cavalier. Oh, man. Diesel, you got me. You got me. Diesel left me a little present there. But the Karen Cavalier. Um, I... I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I kind of want to just sell it. So if somebody bring me 500 bucks, you can come take the Cavalier. Um, it's a solid build. Go back and watch the video on it. I just, I don't know. Lost interest in it, and it is what it is. 98 C5 Corvette. Obviously, uh, you guys, if you are not new to the channel, you knew I was a Corvette person. And uh, this thing I bought wrecked, and uh, we're putting it back together. So I've got, I don't want to show too much, too, because I have these things all in videos. So, like, we've redone the whole back end. The whole back end is brand new. Um, everything's closing looking good. I have all the airbags yada yada yada. You'll see videos on this 
coming up and it might only be one or two videos it might not be a bunch of videos but we got the lq9 in it um so just stay tuned for this but c5 corvette the gta we'll go over here to this one because obviously you guys all want to know this so i haven't made any videos about it um hands down if i have to be 100 percent honest i'm gonna put you down and kind of talk about this one uh, a little bit more personal to you guys <clears throat> but this was a vehicle that i i hands down wish i would have never ever aired on youtube um this is a this has more sentimental value and more like personal value than any of the other vehicles you see any other vehicles you see i will sell i don't care i don't need them um but this vehicle here i want to do and i want to do it perfectly i again i really wish that i would have never aired it on youtube um for personal reasons because you guys just can't seem to get done wanting to see it done and i get that i understand like i aired it i should have showed it uh going through the process but there is an engine transmission in it it does run and drive right now um i just have to get some more accessories and uh it will be 100 percent finished up um i'm not really sure i did record a video on it but again as i was making the video it didn't feel right um as i was making the video it just felt like i was making the video because you guys wanted me to f make the video all the other videos over here i make the videos because i want to when i was filming this video of putting the engine in and getting this thing up and running my excitement was at probably a low and i don't really like how i I don't like how I felt when I did this video. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna air it or not, but just know the GTA is never gonna go anywhere. It will always be here. And uh, you'll see it throughout, like you'll see it at car shows and things like that probably next year. Um, but for right now, I'm just working on it at my pace. And uh, this and the F450 are two vehicles that uh, I kind of get, it's kind of hard for me to spend money on only because I'm not gonna sell them. So when I go over the rest of the vehicles that you see that you've already seen on my channel, I intend to fully sell them. I buy them, I intend to work on them, I intend to sell them at some point and recoup my money. This vehicle, any dollars, any money that I spend on it is going to stay with it and stay in the car forever. I'm not gonna sell it, it's never gonna go anywhere. So I, I find myself month to month as this is a personal project, not a YouTube project. And that's why you don't see the progress on it if that makes a lot more sense to you guys. Same with the F450. Yes, I do love that truck. Yes, I would use it for work and everything. And that one I will air on the channel because that one will get done and that one will stay around. But that is a personal truck. I'm never gonna sell that truck. So for me to go spend $10,000 on that vehicle right there, um, it's never gonna come back to me ever unless I use it for work and it makes my work easier, yada, yada, yada. But you see the Denali does that and some of the other things. So that's why I don't spend the money on these two vehicles. I don't plan on selling them. They don't ever need to go anywhere and uh, I can't financially see to spend the money for you guys um, in these vehicles. Sort of might not make sense to you guys, but I promise you that is really the real reason why, you're probably looking at my hand there, but I gotta grab the GoPro the right way. But that's really the reason why you don't see much on these two vehicles. I don't wanna air them um, and I don't really have $20,000 sitting around to just dump into both these vehicles. Um, to me, I'd rather put, you know, five to 8,000 into this car, get it up and running, enjoy it, and then sell it off, get my $10,000 and move on to something else so that I can make content for you guys. Uh, moving on to the V, this is actually a customer's car or a friend's car. Uh, it actually had a broken head stud. I should have made a video about it, but I did not. Um, but I'm just working on it. This actually is back together. It's firing up and it will actually be gone before you guys even see this video. Um, all right, back to the two-door Jeep, the two-door XJ. So I've made killer progress on this. I don't know if I've ever released any videos on this, um, but I've done the heater core. I got it up and running. If you do follow me on Instagram, you've seen me working super late a couple nights to get this thing back up and running. And uh, officially it runs, it drives. And uh, now I just have to get the uh, little wrecked portion out of it here, which I have sitting right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the spot welds out, replace this panel, and then you'll see this video very, very soon. Um, this will probably be like three or four weeks till you see this fully lifted and ready to be off-roaded. Um, I'm gonna turn the Kill Pro off real quick because I gotta unlock the back door and run through some hoops that I don't need you guys to see. And uh, I will pick right back up. If you guys did not see the F450, yes, I do still have it. But again, I don't plan on spending too, too much money on that. I do have an engine for it. I just don't have time right now. I um, hired a mechanic, shitty situation. Don't have the mechanic anymore. So now it's just me again, working my tail off day in and day out to get content out to you guys and to, you know, get on my feet again. So uh, let me get outside and I'll show you the two vehicles or three vehicles outside. Boom. All right, we are back outside. Um, so Mud Junkie 99's cards out here. Um, don't really know why his Civic's here. Don't know why he took his license plate off, but uh, his uh, Civic is actually out here. 
Um, obviously, you can tell I do work throughout the weeks because this is all extra overflow scrap metal. And uh, that's honestly a lot of my revenue as well. Um, you guys don't see behind the scenes, but I part vehicles out. Parts come off of cars, take them in for scrap metal, exchange it in, make a couple hundred bucks every month um, just off scrap. Back to the 77. So this is actually Jeremy JS Coding 717's uh, project. We are lowering it. We are going to do everything to it. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't i don't know how to say it to to make this any better or worse uh but you guys will see this coming up it's going to be a build um we're just kind of he's gathering all the parts i guess that's the easiest way to say it he's gathering absolutely all the parts like he has the lowering kit for it already obviously he put wheels and tires on it he's collecting everything and then we're going to go ahead and shoot a video series on this so the 77 is still getting done it is still on the channel i know a bunch of you guys um doubted that it was here and it did it did technically leave but it is still here um heading over here to the last vehicle on the channel oh no i got one other but heading over here to the last vehicle the suburban um again i got this thing for a heck of a deal i'm still just waiting on a title and the real reason i haven't really filmed anything or waited so long to put this content out was because i did not have the title for the thing so i didn't want to release the video because i know how you guys are you're pest you're pest you're pest you don't just sit back and relax and trust the process you need now answers and unfortunately things like this um the guy's dead and i uh I didn't get the title yet. So when I get the title for that, we'll air that and that will come out and then we'll actually start the build process on that. So I didn't order anything for that. I stopped hundred percent where I am on that only because I, uh, I don't have the title. So one more vehicle and uh, then we're done. All right, so the Honda Civic, my daily driver. Um, you guys probably won't see much on that. I did intend to wrap that and kind of fix that on a video and everything, but I probably will not do that only because um, I don't know. It's just a daily driver. It's nothing special, nothing crazy. Um, I don't know if I have any footage of it. I think I did record this video like a month ago. So if I have that footage still, I'll put the Civic in right now. But if I don't, it's just me again. Here I am. So there you guys have it uh, again. Um, I'm working towards some goals of my own uh, here for 2023 that's coming up. And uh, a lot of my goals are to have like the Camaro that you've seen earlier. I want to be able to you know, bring that car out, do that thing start to finish and uh, get that thing done. Um, another thing is like the Dodge Dart. I wanna be able to pull that in, make my entire video series with that thing, get it done and then release the videos to you guys. Um, the way I sort of been doing it now for the last two and a half, three years was I woke up every morning, I couldn't think of a video or I could think of a video, I did them and I got them out to you guys. However, I wanna kinda change it up and be more uh, planned, be more organized. As you can tell, the shop is very, very organized right now. And uh, that's because, again, I do want to go ahead and basically when I tear this Camaro apart, I want to have shelves. All the Camaro parts go on the shelves. Dodge Dart, when I tear it apart, I want all the Dodge Dart on one shelf. The Jeep, same thing back here with the Jeeps. When I tear them apart, I want all the parts on one shelf. I don't want to be chasing parts and finding things. Uh, because as of right now, it's hard to get parts. So when I do need to get parts, like for the Jeep, it sat for a while because I needed uh, parts for that. Uh, same with the Corvette right now. I'm waiting on parts that are like three or four weeks out. So it's just a point where I want to get to where I don't have to like buy this car and air it to you guys right away. Like you guys know, obviously I've owned that car for probably two weeks now and I haven't made a video about it because I, I just want to do it all right and do it all once. Um, another thing is I've been letting down like some of my sponsors because I say, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this done. I get 90% of it done. And then I wait on one thing that broke or one thing that I can't get. And then it's hard to get the videos out to you guys. And then obviously you guys know me, I get sidetracked and I move on kind of frequently to something else. And I, you know, it takes a little bit a uh, while, it takes a little bit of a while for me to get back on track and back on a project. So again, I hope you guys do enjoy and appreciate the content and comment, like subscribe, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see for 2023. I know we're like, what, five months out, but I'm planning for 2023 right now. So everything I'm doing right now is for 2023 and uh, you know, my future, for the future of the channel, for the future growth of everything. And uh, everything I do from now on isn't right now, it's longevity. So comment, like, subscribe. I will see you guys in an upcoming video.